thousands of asteroids can be found all across our solar system. The majority of them can be found in the main asteroid belt which is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. According to NASA, there are more than 25,000 asteroids near us of 140 meters in size at a minimum. Additionally, there are plenty of other near-Earth objects that could be a threat to our planet, some of which are miles in diameter. NASA are constantly scanning the skies for these objects. This double asteroid was recently captured by a telescope as it passed by Earth. Incredibly, researchers were able to track the asteroid and figure out it is travelling at over 43,000 miles per hour, or 70,000 kilometers per hour. It's known as 1999 KW4 and NASA have classified it as a near-Earth object. It's approximately 1.3 kilometers in diameter or 0.8 miles in diameter, and it's known for its two asteroids that are gravitationally stuck together. As of 2019, it doesn't have a name but it recently passed Earth. This is one of many asteroids that pass Earth every year. Its recent images were captured by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, which can be found in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. The Very Large Telescope is equipped with spectro-polymetric high-contrast exoplanet research, and it's one of very few instruments that's able to capture these types of images. As you can imagine, the speed at which the asteroid was travelling made it extremely difficult to photograph. One of the researchers said the following, During the observations, the atmospheric conditions were a bit unstable. In addition, the asteroid was relatively faint and moving very fast in the sky making these observations particularly challenging, and causing the AO systems to crash several times. It was great to see our hard work pay off despite the difficulties. Back in 2004, a potentially world-shattering asteroid known as 2002 NT7 was discovered that many scientists predicted would hit the Earth in 2019, giving it a 1 out of 100,000 chance of probability. Although that might not seem like a very accurate estimate, it does put the chance of an asteroid collision with Earth higher than it's ever previously been. Good news for us is that new estimates from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration discovered that not only would the asteroid not be colliding with us this year, but that it would be sailing past us at a distance that's more than 100 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. The distance is known as being approximately 0.2 astronomical units away from the Earth, and leaves us in perfect viewing distance of the body and tail of the cosmic beast. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.